know the name, you know the time. It is that Talk Talk Boxing, right here on Double RT Boxing. I am your host, Mr. A, and I'm a little down, I'm a little sad. I was looking forward to the, the heavyweight bout today. Uh, that bout was between uh, Amir Mansour and Sergey Kuzman. It was for the WBC uh, International Heavyweight title. I believe that was a a nice, as 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 some as they say, a sexy mid-tier heavyweight fight. You know that that could have been a nice build-up for a lot of uh, mid-tier fighters. You could have had a you could have had a Martin in that mix. You could have had. Uh, Ortiz going for there for that WBC international belt. You could have had Molina. You could have had Andy Ruiz. You could have uh, Junior Fa. There's a lot of people that could have been in the mix for that, but you could have uh, Daniel Dubois. A lot of people for that WBC international heavyweight. But this fight ended in a technical draw, a headbutt. Mm, eyebrow to forehead, nasty gash, instant blood, stop it right away. No argument from either fighter. They they, they were they were gashed. It was a right eyebrow bone of Mansoor connecting with Sergey's forehead. Sergey instantly gushed open. I mean Mansoor just fell to the knee, just dripping. Now the fight itself was a good three rounds good two and a half rounds i should say now you came out you know everyone's thinking okay amir mansoor is a nice brawler he's a heavy-handed guy but he came out actually on the move but uh amir mansoor was sticking and moving on he was boxing not brawling it, it, it was the, the clear layout of what each fighter wanted was amir mansoor wanted to circle the ring and stay out of the line of Sergey's right hand. So Sergey was so for Sergey. Sergey was just trying to walk Amir down, pawn it, pawn it, pawn him, trying to line him up, right, line him up, right. That's what Sergey was trying to walk him down into. And then now Amir Mansour, he was jabbing, circling to the, his right the whole time, just to evade um, Sergey's right. So he was. Paw, 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 check right. And just anytime Sergey had him in any type of trouble, but Sergey never really cut the ring off. He kind of just walked him, you know, followed him around. So he just paw, 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 check him to the right and escape. Sergey has him against the ropes. He'd do all a mirror that is, he'd do all this movement and then check out to the right. Now, if he didn't check him, didn't go, he just um, spinned out to the right. Now, when Sergey did have a mirror against the ropes in the first round, he got him with a nice right hand, and you saw uh, Amir take a roll and give you an idea like, can Amir keep up this movement, and can will the old 45-year-old be able to withstand that right hand? Because this is the first time you see, uh, to me, uh, Amir Mansour didn't look. That that physique he usually have. He he looked he looked old for once. So, and you see the whole time. And then round two comes out. Same thing. He's circling to the right, checking left, hooking him. Um, Sergey gets a little more rights in on him. And then in the third round, Amir Mansour movement stops him. So they're, they're actually fighting in front of each other. And then when they are exchanging. A lot of punches are missing, but when they do land, I'm giving it to Sergey on the exchange. You can see that right hand can possibly change this fight as it goes on, it's considering that Mansoor movement is rapidly slowing down. <clears throat> like I said, with the mirror standing right in front of them, they're exchanging more. And then when they go to exchange, there it goes. Right here. Here's your head. Here's my bow. <laughs> they stop and that is it it's a technical draw so the WBC 
international heavyweight title is still vacant. Um, I don't know if it should be a rematch between these two guys or the WBC should just let some other people have a crack at it. It's a tough one. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Do you think this rematch should be for the WBC international heavyweight title or WBC just give two other guys a lucky opportunity? Let them see what they got for their careers because the belt is vacant. God, it would have been a good fight. It, it was a good fight. It would have been a nice, a nice, ah, oh man, I, ooh, it would have been a nice mid-tier level for all the heavyweights out there. Yeah, I'm telling you, all that, all the number nines through six, tens through six, elevens through six, you know, because you, you got Michael Char just getting this belt. It, it would have been the, the mid-tier Heavyweights would have been nice and noise right now. A lot of noise for the mid tier level. Dang those draws. Dang those headbutts. Why is there headbutts in boxing? Learn how to fight right. <laughs> this is Mr. A. Thank you for your support and time, guys. I appreciate it.